You can't hear the music in the background. You just think I'm a nutter bobbling about on the TV. Anyway, lot to get through on this video. Uh, Marcus, my, my chum from Sweden. Jesus, man, I'm one of the few customers who actually pays up front. Take note, you UK fucking paintballers. I'm swearing again. Right, so Marcus, I'm quickly going to go through your gun, okay? Now, 260 quid, this is what you're getting, right? Although, with the kick-up mounting, it's just I haven't done the uh, set of holes yet, because it is absolutely fecking down with rain outside, okay? Um, yeah, low profile feed next, no problem. There will be an extra charge for it, but that's no problem at all. Now, this is a solid gas line. This is the regulator you'll get in. This is my own rig. These are the rigs I make, okay? This is a really, really good regulator. This is your on off assembly. It's exactly the same as the Lux, it's what you own already. And it's what you're familiar with, okay? This is just a simple bolt-on ASA, i.e. there's two bolts that hold this in place, okay? What we're going to move on to now is what the Die Hyper Reg looks like. No, you can't have this gun. This is my gun. And this is ion-based. This is far more difficult to take apart and clean. If it's more difficult and clean, to clean, you won't clean it. This gun has to be completely stripped down to clean, but this is my gun. Now, this is a Die Hyper 2 rig. This is my rig. Now, these are 90 quid new. So, to replace it, if I shopped around second hand, I might get one for about 50 quid. But ideally, I really don't want to sell this. Now, um, there's no difference between this and this regulator that's on here. There's no difference between the two at all. Okay, this does exactly the same job as this one. In fact, this one probably does it a little bit better because it's a lot more simple. Again, this regulator needs a lot of maintenance to keep it tipped up, all right? Now, um, next thing, this is a macro line. It is not made from rubber. You cannot put bottle pressure into a rubber tube. What happens to your car tire when you put air in it it inflates, doesn't it? So that's why we don't use rubber tubes, yeah? This is a hard plastic tube. It has a 2.5mm skin. It is pressure tested to 1,000 PSI. Now, the reason we use macro lines, macro lines are industrial push fittings, okay? Now watch, there's no screw in. You just push it in place. However, again, these fittings have to be maintained and the O-rings change regularly it can be quite difficult to change the o-ring in here, not for me, but for your general paintball playing populace, the whole paintball industry is moving away from gas fittings, as in macro fittings. These things can be a real pain in the ass, and they can leak like crazy. Again, for me, it's no problem, but... For a gun that you're going to have as a backup that we're looking to keep simple, I'd stay away from these for the time being. Next, ASA. Now remember that we're talking about two bolts, right? If I put a macro fitting on here, I've got to put it on the side. So there's even more... There's a higher chance for things to go wrong, right? So what I like to do when I use a macro fitting is I have an ASA that has a fitting that comes out the front, okay? Now this is the only ASA I have. Don't worry about the green paint. I bought it second hand. Someone had painted it green. It is actually chrome underneath. Um, but this is a row fitting, i.e. it has no bolts passing through the ASA. So that means it has to be attached to a row. This is a row fitting. He says, struggling to get it into place. Let's see if it'll go on from this side. So look, now I'm having problems putting these two rails together. There you go. Now this is a rail fitting. You see how it slides? Now this rail would be bolted to your gun. But the only thing is, you're having a kick up, which means I've got to machine the rail into this kick up. 
and I don't have the tools, man. I, I lost all my tools when my workshop burned down, so I can't be machining rails. Uh, I would strongly suggest to you, keep your gun as a backup as simple as possible. What you've got here, you've got the mini barrel, okay, that takes the inserts, um, that takes the inserts, alright? So you've got a mini freak system with a removable tip. Now the reason we've picked on this one is because your Lux tip will fit in this. You can put your Lux tip in this if you want a longer barrel, okay? So at the moment it's 260 quid. If you want to add this, just this rig on its own would have to be 50 quid. That's what it's going to cost me to replace it. And then, oh man, this is going to get complicated. So, really want to stay away from this. I can do it, but it will add time to the project because now I've got to go and find the correct um, milling cutters to mill that uh, row in. It's um, 60 degrees, I think. Machine cutting tools are not cheap. Yeah, <laughs> that's why I'm staying away from doing this. And also, it's a very long, drawn-out project on my machine that I've got out the back here. I haven't done any round milling on it yet, so I don't know how accurate it's going to be. So I'm kind of looking really to stay away from that. So um, at the moment, it's 260 quid. If you want to add the low-profile feed neck, I can make that for you tomorrow. I charge 30 pounds for those. That would be 30 pounds on top of the 260 okay and um, I could put a macro line on here if you want it but the thing about a solid gas line is its reliability it will never leak it will never go wrong every time you pull this trigger the gun's gonna shoot that's what we designed this gun to be a gun to be in your boot and 100% reliable every time you get it out and pull that trigger it's going to shoot which is why my gun is one of these it's a hybrid and I've got more guns here than I can shake a stick at high-end guns I've got Luxes, Protons, Empires, Vanquishes, Vapors, Budors, Auto Cockers I've, I've got the list is endless of the guns I've got to choose what gun do I get out of the cupboard when I go and play? This one. The reason I take this gun when I go and play is because when I get to the paintball site, I want to play. I don't want to be standing in the pits cocking around with my gun for half hour. Or, indeed, every other game, you see. That's why I make these guns. All you do, put your paint in, put your air on, pull the trigger, the gun works. It's nice and simple. Okay, so, um, while we're here... Another quick one, Alex, Alex from Fat Bobs. He sent me. Oh, he sent me this air arm silencer. It is so nasty. It's just, uh, it's just a pressed aluminium tube, and it goes on the barrel and it's held in place with grub screws. Uh, uh, get some quality, boy. So Alex, seeing as you supply me so heartedly with rare amounts of candy, I'm going to gift you this carbon fiber silencer. It's multi-chamber. And then what we have here is an adapter. This bit goes onto your barrel, and then on this, there's a thread. So you can use any silencer you want. And uh, I'm only going to charge you a tenner for the converter, all right? Uh, next thing, Julian. Um, your scope mounts will be done soon. I love this little scope, man. It's, it's lovely. Uh, I'll get them done soon, right? Uh, three minutes of accuracy. That's what you wanted. I've got to use somebody else's machine for that. And the other thing is... Have I shown you this one? This is coming on nicely. Remember my workshop knife? Yeah? But we're doing the full-size one now with the hammer head on the end. Uh, Bertram, this will be ready. It's going to be a couple of weeks, mate. But until such time as that's done and everything's clear and we know what we're talking about, I'll catch you later. This is Gobby signing out. Bye-bye, lads. Ta-da.